Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to look at the formation of pingos. How do pingos form? Pingos form when there's discontinuous permafrost in the ground. Frost heave freezing causes ice lenses which push up the ground and these can also form lakes. They can be either open system pingos which happen in areas of discontinuous permafrost or closed system pingos which happen in areas of complete permafrost. We'll first look at open system pingos. So these are pingos which open in areas of discontinuous permafrost. When temperatures drop, hydrostatic pressure is going to increase and moisture in the ground is going to freeze and rise. So this is what we get. We get the moisture clumping together and this is going to form an ice lens. As it rises, it creates a mound in the ground that rises upwards. Then, if the pressure in the mound is too great, the ground above the ice lens can crack and expose ice. Then, due to the high temperatures, it will melt and leave a lake. And then, this is what we call a lake pingo. Closed system pingos are slightly different. As temperatures decrease, again, hydrostatic pressure is increasing on the moisture and the soil will freeze and rise. It then becomes an ice lens. Or, a lake can also freeze over. As the permafrost advances, it's going to push up the frozen lake or the ice lens, hence forming a mound. So, this is what we get. Firstly, we have the permafrost and a lake, which is, at the moment, liquid. Then permafrost is going to advance and the lake may freeze and be pushed upwards. Or, if there isn't a lake, we still get the same thing we got with in the open system pingo. We just get um, ice moisture forming inside the talic, and that gets pushed up due to the per rising permafrost, due to more um, freezing of the ground. Here are some questions on the formation of pingos. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video. Hit play when you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got both of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the exploitation of the tundra. Thanks for watching, and as always, good luck in your exams, and I'll see you next time.